getting into your process of getting to be head coach of UCLA, when did it? When did things begin to start to move where you realized that you were a viable candidate for this gig? So um, I ended up taking the Raider job. So I was a Raiders running back coach for two days, mm -hmm. and then um, Chip ended up leaving. UCLA called me back. I interviewed over Zoom. And then after that, I did a couple in person, and that's when I knew that this was – just getting serious. Right, getting serious. Yeah. And so I'm sure Antonio Pierce was just like, congratulations, right? He totally got it. He, he understood. No? Especially being a friend, you know, so knowing that um, that's just our goals, you know, and having an opportunity to be the head coach at your alma mater, you right. know, couldn't pass that out. So what, what, what would you say to anybody that's out there, and I know I'm kind of just jumping a, a, a ahead a few steps here with you, to uh, anybody that's looking at a former player now, obviously, you've had coaching experience. Antonio Pierce has had coaching experience. But just the concept of a former player so uh, who hasn't beaten the coaching sticks for a decade and a half, two decades, what do you say to anybody who's in a position to hire a coach to say, you don't have to do the 15, 20 years. All you need is some, and then the rest of it is your own heart, guts, and feel, and head. What do you say? Um, it's just a, it's all about teaching. We're teachers. So... If they can teach, they should be able to coach, you know. And um, I started coaching in 2012, so what's it, 12 years now? Mm -hmm. So it's it's. – I've been in the game for a minute. You have. You know, and it's just – um. I just felt I had a master's in football. Just as much football as I played, I had a master's in football, and maybe I can go on and, and figure it out. But, you know, those first couple of years, you're just trying to see if you like coaching, if this is – are you in the right place? Maybe I want to be a scout. Maybe I want to do player development. Like you don't know exactly what you want to do, but you know you want to be around ball. So what did you like about coaching that you realized, okay, I got this. I like it. This it's is the it. development aspect. So I fell in love with just the process of developing guys. And I took pride in like, I know you guys can make it to the NFL, but how prepared will you be when you get there? You know, and then like just speaking to scouts and talking to them after they take my guys, they're like, I know he's always going to have this, 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 and this. I just enjoyed the process of that. And and do you recall the moment where you're like, okay, I um like an exact pinpoint moment where you're like, okay, I so I, I got like to coach. I got to coach under Kennedy Palomalu, mm -hmm. and um that's Troy's uncle, mm -hmm. and he was a running back coach at SC, coach at UCLA. Um, he's in the NFL now, but just the platform that he gave me, and just the teaching and asking me like, okay, what do the guys need to do today? Just preparing me for to be a coach, and once I saw that, I was like, okay, I do like this. This is kind of cool. This is exciting. So it was probably about four years in. All right, and now, but the it's a different, you know, college football world mm -hmm. to the point where part of the reason how you got the gig in UCLA is because your predecessors like don't want to deal with a lot of the stuff that head coaches have to deal with in college. How about that part of the job for you? Are are you? you know, into that part of it, or you don't have the same aspect of it or, or concept of it as, as maybe, or approach as Chip Kelly? What do you think about that? I'm lucky because I'm becoming a head coach when this is it. I wasn't a head coach when it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I was a position coach at that time. But being a head coach in this, this is my first go around, and this is how college football is operating. So I'm all for it. So you, you didn't, <laughs> so you're basically, you're saying... You're, you're, this is the only way you know how to be a head coach. Right. And thus, it might not rankle you because you don't have any history of it. How it when used it, to be. How it used to be. Exactly. Interesting. You know? So then what, what is the secret sauce on reaching a player that has transfer portal uh, opportunities and might have uh, an NIL opportunity here or there that can create a sense of independence? What, what do you, what's your approach you to that? You just have to do your homework. It's not just you really have to get to know the kids, see what makes him tick. Why does he like football? What's going on? You know, what is he really motivated by? You know, some guys can have money, but that's not really the motivation. You just got to check them out and vet out and make sure you're getting the right kids. But other than that, you know, we're in an era right now where college football players are able to – college athletes are able to be paid. So, you know, you just have to embrace it and go from there. Well, and clearly the your, your – um kids that you have there were very happy to hear that you got the gig we have the video of the moment where they they learned 
and here you come in and what was this moment like for you to see this reaction from them that you were the head coach it was, it was awesome you know you i knew how the offense felt about me but i wasn't sure i mean i knew how some of the defense felt about me but i didn't know they would lose their minds and everybody going crazy so did they so, not know you were about to walk in no idea so they're they're like everybody meet up we've got your new head coach mm -hmm. and then you walk in yeah wow Wow, I, I saw that video. I thought maybe, just maybe, they had an inkling that it was you, or mm -hmm. some of them knew, or all of them knew it was going to be you, and they were just excited to physically see you. No, because all role. weekend they were texting me, and I just didn't give them anything. Really? Yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> it's because you didn't know anything yet, or you just didn't want to? A little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both, but I just, I was trying to be cool about it. You know, you wanted to relax and let's let this just and I know even, take its course. Even now, I kind of feel like you still want to be a little cool about it. You know what I mean? Like, you are the eighth seed of UCLA, and here I am going into the process of it. Like, you are you are that guy. Yeah. So I And I understand that. I'm kind of picking up that vibe from you right now. But that is kind of, it's got to be cool, Deshaun. Yeah, it is. It is. It's special. You know, UCLA is a special place. And I think it takes Bruins to really understand how special it is. Why? Just because it's a, it's not not everybody can go to UCLA. Not everybody has. And you know, for me, this isn't a stepping stone. This isn't the I'm, I'm using this to get this job. You know, this if I if I do this right, I should be in the next twenty years. This is your destination. Mm -hmm. This is your destiny, maybe. It's where I'm supposed to be. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.